Books with Miss B friends. Welcome back to another story. My name is Miss B and I am the creator of this YouTube channel and I'm also the founder of Miss B Tutoring. I'm so excited that you're here today, but before we get started on our book, I want you to lean in super close and I want you to listen to this one very, very important thing. You, my friend, my little human, I'm talking to you. Maybe there's more of you in the room. I don't know. Hello. I'm talking to all of you. You are without a doubt in my mind. Absolutely perfect. So please, do not try to be anybody else. Just be you. Because guess what? There's nobody else in the whole entire world like you. And that is kind of amazing. Don't you think? I think so. Just be you. Got it? Good. Okay, so today's story is a book request. I'm so excited. In case you didn't know, you can visit me on my Instagram page at Books with Miss B, and there you can make comments and send me all of the amazing book requests that you have. I will try to find those books in my own library. If I don't have them, I will try and hunt them down and read them to you as fast as I can. Um, so today's story is for the fabulous, amazing, magical, wonderful, extra sparkly Luna. Hi, Luna. Luna is nine years old, and Luna has informed me that she, in fact, is going to be an author someday of a children's book. That's amazing. Luna, you can do anything you put your mind to. All of you can. So, I'm so glad you shared that with me. Let's go ahead and get started. The story that Luna has requested is The Watermelon Seed, and this is written by Greg Pizzoli, and he has been given the Theodore Seuss Geisel Award. Do you know what that magic sticker means? It means that, this is Dr. Seuss, by the way, awarded this book saying it's a magical, sparkly, extra fabulous story. Now, I want you to look at something really quick before I start reading. I have another book in my library. It's called Dragon Was Terrible. And this is written by the incredible author who we absolutely love in our house, Kelly DiPuccio. You've heard of her before. Um, she, she wrote this book, but notice it says pictures by Greg Pizzoli. The Watermelon Seed is written by Greg Pizzoli. What do you guys notice? Yes, the illustrations look very similar, don't they? When you look at the eyeballs on the dragon and you look at the eyeballs on the alligator, actually he's a crocodile, don't they look the same? So not only did Greg write and illustrate the Watermelon Seed, but he helped Kelly DiPuccio out and make pictures to go with her delightful words. Kind of cool. So check out that book if you haven't already heard that one. Let's get started. The Watermelon Seed. I love watermelon. It's my favorite. When I was pregnant with my kiddos, I would squeeze lime on it, and I still do sometimes um, on top of my watermelon and gobble it down. Love it. I love watermelon. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's the best. Ever since I was a teeny tiny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. Chomp, slurp, chomp, 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 chomp. I like it for breakfast. I like it for lunch. I like a big slab, a salty slab for dinner. And I love it for dessert. You know who puts salt on their watermelon? My mom. My mom is watching this video right now. I've always thought that was a little strange, but it's sort of normal. People like it. I love watermelon. Me too. Ooh. What happened? I just swallowed a seed. growing in my guts. Soon vines will come out of my ears. Is it possible? That's not possible. Could that really happen? My stomach will stretch. 
My skin will turn pink. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody please help me. Grumble, grumble, grumble. His tummy's grumbling. Oh no, I can feel it growing inside me. It's happening right now. <gasps> My stomach feels funny. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <coughs> oh. There's the seed. <laughs> Did he burp up the, the watermelon seed? <gasps> that was too close. No more melon for me. Never again. Mm. Well, maybe just a teeny tiny bite. How can you say no to watermelon? Mm. The end. I hope you liked this story. It's a silly one. And if you've ever eaten too much food and you gurgled and you gurgled and your tummy feels big, 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 and then all of a sudden you burp. Sometimes you feel a lot better after you burp, don't you? But let's be real here. Could you actually grow vines, turn pink, and have a watermelon grow inside your stomach? Nope. Love this story, so cute. Thank you again, Luna, my little friend sitting over there who gave me that book request. I appreciate it so very much. You're gonna be an amazing children's author someday. For sure, Miss B knows. I love you all like crazy. If you like this story, you can press the like button and you can subscribe below to get more books with Miss B stories every single week. Bye guys, I love you, I'll see you all next time. Mwah! Hi, my books with Miss B friends. Uh, I have something very important I want you all to know. Please, always remember this. Remember that it is always very, very important to love who you are. And don't try to be anybody else but who you are. Because in case you didn't know, I'm going to tell you are without a doubt in my mind.